Welcome to another review from the Wichita Toy Train Club. I'm Zachariah and behind the camera we have Chris. We're going to do a review on the Flyer Chief American Flyer Polar Express set. So as we can see this is this train needs no introduction. This is the Polar Express as starred in the mo very popular Christmas movie and book. So let's go over some stats and facts on this locomotive. The locomotive can run either on AC or DC power, whether or not which one you want to run on. If you run with the uh, pack that comes with it, that runs DC or most any other transformer is going to be AC. You have the choice be between running this with the Flyer Chief remote that comes with the set or running the engine conventionally with just, transform with just a transformer. There's uh, on and off switches for your lights and your smoke unit. Locomotive features a forward, neutral, and reverse operation. Diecast metal lo locomotive body and frame. Metal six wheel trucks on the tender. Has the RC sound system from Lionel. A realistic background sounds. Operating headlight, directional LED head, uh, backup light on the rear of the tender. Fan driven smoke unit and a powerful maintenance free motor. So, looking at the front of this locomotive, we can see that it has a very plain die cast metal front. Again, this whole body's die cast, so basically anywhere is going to be very little plastic. So we have a nice cow catcher, plenty of molded in details along the pilot. Up here we have our operating headlight, some painted on marker lights, and a little plastic bell up here. So as we can see on the side of the locomotive, we have our, again, very basic de detailed uh, molded in detail on our die cast boiler. We have metal side frames along with the metal drivers along the side of the locomotive that look great when the locomotive's in operation. We have a nice crisp 1225 over here and some small lettering down here. So looking at the top of the locomotive, we can see we have, up here we have our feed water, uh, hot water heater, our smokestack, and just to add fluid into the smokestack, just pour it directly down the stack. We have a little bit of river detail, it's nice steam dome, sand dome, some pop-off valves, a couple other details along back here, and a couple of rivets on top of the cab. So now we're going to take a look up inside the cab of this locomotive. As you can see, there's not a whole lot up inside there, but there's quite a bit on the uh, molded in into the uh, back head of the boiler. So looking on this tether between the engine and tender, again we can see it has that flyer chief or line chief uh, tether. And it's supposed to be a really simple tether, it holds very well even under uh, a decent load. So we're going to go through uh, how it works and everything again. So again, it's just to pop it up, it kind of pulls just straight out of your tender. And if we were going to go and reconnect it, we just have to have our... Sometimes the angle is kind of off. That's the only thing you kind of have to watch sometimes. You get that right up in there, and that makes an electrical connection between the locomotive and the tender. So the tender doesn't really have much pickup rollers, or it gives a bigger electrical footprint for the whole locomotive, so you don't die going over switches. So looking on the side of this tender, we can see we have our nice crisp Polar Express, along with some uh, decent rev uh, rivet detail along the side of the tender. Down here we have some nice six-wheeled uh, trucks under the tender. So on the top of the tender we have our uh, die cast metal colo and it's kind of just molded in with the tender body. A little bit of ladder detail over here and some details of the water hatches along with a rough handrail outline. So looking on the rear of the tender down here we have our S scale coupler and if you're new to these these just open if you just push this little tab up and they open up just like that. Up, right up here we have some legible info right above the coupler. Up here we have a nice crisp 1225. A couple other molded in details along with a ladder. And up here we have our market, uh, operating backup light. So now we're going to take a quick look at these passenger cars that come with the set. Up here at the front we have again our S-scale coupler. Again just to open this you just push up on this little tab. Again, uh, along with the front, we have an opening here, along with some nice rivet details on either side. And then along the whole side, again, we have all of our normal rivets and whatnot. Over here, we have a 
molded in door with uh, plastic inserts and a little handle and step details. And along here we have uh, in the windows you can see we have our puppets and what and everything hanging from the ceilings inside the car. Up on the top again we have our nice crisp Polar Express and uh, kind of a nice added touch compared to the O scale model we have our a simulated uh, snow covered roof with it's just some white paint but it adds some realism to the top of the car. So we're going to take a quick peek at the observation car. All the other cars are the same. This one's just a little bit different. Uh, of course, between all the cars, we're going to have a little bit of changes within what's inside the windows. Of course, down here we have our one boy, uh, along with our observation deck back here. Uh, again, our nice cast, uh, die cast metal trucks and a couple under frame details on this car. The uh, This car is supposed to be lighted. We're having a couple issues with it at this current time. But when if you buy it brand new and comes out of the box, this car will be lighted. So here's a quick uh, peek at the uh, rear end. Again, we have our uh, nice observation deck, uh, little ruby crystal up here, along with uh, steps on the each side and our operating coupler. So now before we go ahead and pull this train out and take it for a loop around the layout, I uh, just wanted to note that there are two extra cars on here. They're sold separately from the set. The cars, uh, the add-on cars are the non-lighted baggage car and a non-lighted passenger car that doesn't have any silhouettes of people in it. So now we have uh, power to the track and now we're going to get that annoying beeping until we turn on the remote. So again here's the Flyer Chief remote. We're going to turn it on. And now we have our background sounds running and it'll just kind of stay like this until we do anything. We have our whistle. Again it's uh, very responsive. Bell and announcements. Again, this has uh, some of the cuts from Tom Hanks from the actual movie, so you'll get uh, different ones every time you press this uh, announcement button. So now let's go ahead and take it for a loop around the layout. This concludes our review of this Flyer Chief Polar Express Ready to Run set. This was a Wichita Toy Train Club production. Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.
Thank <laughs> you.